look, 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 she's brushing her teeth. Look at that. Look at that, she's brushing her teeth. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. So this is what I just did to the kitten's favorite toy stick. So this pink stick is one of their favorite toys. And I found a toothbrush that I've never opened. And I just attached it to the stick with some zip ties, which I clipped off. And let's see if I could brush some of the cats. Here's Goldie. Hey, Goldie. Wanna smell it? Hey, Nancy. So Nancy will let me brush her with it, but she's easy. She lets me pet her. I could pick her up. She's an easy one, but maybe I'll get her scent on it. <laughs> and um, maybe then the other cats won't run away from it. You want me to brush your teeth? You want me to brush your teeth? Look at the dogs. There's two big dogs. Nancy, look at the big dogs. There are two people walking, two very big dogs. One of them is taking a dump on my front yard. They better be picking it up. That's a big dump. Oh my God. Okay, the guy is picking it up. It looks like, see how big the dog is? It's a really big dog. Okay, so maybe if we play with it as a stick, they'll be more interested in it. So this is a reusable shopping bag that I used the other day. I haven't taken um, everything out that I purchased. There's still some stuff in it, but for some reason the cats love this bag. I don't know why. It's covered in cat hair right now because they've been laying on it non-stop for the past several days. That's why I've just been leaving it here. They're not afraid of it when it's a stick, but if I put a brush on the end of it, then they're afraid of it. Maybe I'll just let them have it. Can you see? She's touching it. Now she's laying next to it. Here comes Nancy. Nosy Nancy. Nancy wants to brush her teeth. Can we brush your teeth, Nancy? <laughs> Look at this, she's brushing her teeth. Look at that. Maybe this is a good way to get cats to brush their teeth. I should maybe put some, I don't know what I could put on there. Maybe like a squeeze up or some Fortiflora or something. Yeah, what would happen if I put a squeeze up on this? Would they, they would probably just lick it or would they bite it? That was really good teeth cleaning, Nancy. You did a good job. So I just put some squeeze up on the toothbrush. And of course, Sammy's gonna lick it. Is she gonna bite it? You gonna brush your teeth? Oh yeah, look, she's biting it. Here, get the rest. You gonna bite the rest out? You gonna bite it? Okay, with that one. Sammy wants the rest. Okay, Sammy licked it off. Oh, look. Can I brush her teeth with it? Want some Goldie? Yeah, look, she's letting me brush her teeth. Okay, Ziggy. Who's eating it next? Nancy?
Nancy's licking it. Move over, Sammy. All right, I'm giving some to Goldie. You look, look, look. Goldie's biting the brush, look. I'm brushing her teeth. No? You want to bite the brush some more? Sammy's letting me brush her teeth. I can actually brush her teeth. Look at this. Sammy is like a wonder cat. Like she goes on the wheel. She lets me brush her teeth. That's pretty amazing, Sammy. I'm going to have to get another toothbrush and try it with the other cats. So here's Simba, and here's another toothbrush filled with a chicken squeeze-up. Would you like some squeeze-up, Simba? Look, he just let me brush his teeth. He let me brush his teeth a little bit. If there's a squeeze up on it, he's okay. Look at that. Look at that. I might have to I might have to get every cat a toothbrush. You're right? I mean all right, let me put the camera down. Let me see what I can do with two hands. So here's Stella. I just washed off the toothbrush. And I put more squeeze up on it. I'm getting a little bit of brushing in here. It's easier to brush with two hands. I have one hand on the camera right now. Look, look, yeah, yeah, like she's biting it. Yeah, look at that. This is closer than I've ever been able to come to brushing their teeth before. Oh yeah, look, she's biting it, good. Good, Stella, good. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. See if I can do better than that. Oh, yeah, look, 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 look. Look, she's brushing her teeth. Look at that. Look at that, she's brushing her teeth. So I got a little bit of brushing in when I put the camera down. And I just gave her some more squeeze up. There she goes, biting on the brush. Good job, Stella. Brushing your teeth? Brush your teeth? I just gave Goldie some more squeeze up on the toothbrush because her favorite food is like squeeze ups, baby food. She loves that kind of texture. Um, and here's Sammy. One thing that I did want to point out is that Sammy is probably closest to the Tuxies than to any of the other cats. Um, it's kind of interesting how um, if I was to separate the cats based on who they are most bonded with, the two Torties would be a pair, the two Marble Tabbies would be a pair, and the two Mackerel Tabbies would be a pair. Not just because their coat patterns are the same. It is because they are actually um, closest to each other. Even though all of the cats as a group are very close to each other, 
it's interesting that the ones with the similar coat patterns are the closest pairs. So for example, here's Richard and Nancy, and Richard is close to all the cats, but he's probably closest to Nancy as far as his bonding goes, who he's bonded the most with, um, because these two are practically inseparable. And the same thing for Ringo and Little Eva, and the same thing for Goldie and Ziggy. Although Sammy, if she had to be in a group, she would be in the group with Goldie and Ziggy. And I find that really interesting because the torties are like black and red cats, and Sammy is a black and white cat, so maybe she bonds with them because she feels the most similar to them. I don't know if it's a temperament thing or what, but the three of them are really kind of like a group. Uh, Sammy's much more so a group with the Torties than she is with um, these two or the other two, even though they all get along. All seven cats all get along, and at various times of the day, they are hanging out in different configurations. Um, but if I had to make like overall generalizations, that's what I've noticed. It's 4.23 p.m. Look at what's going on here by the back door. That's little Eva and Ziggy. They're so tired. They're taking an afternoon nap. They don't want to be disturbed. It's 8.15 p.m. and Ziggy has been laying in the Ikea bed and she's been letting me pet her with the toothbrush. So that pink stick still has the toothbrush on it and she was letting me brush her with the toothbrush. I even got to brush Goldie with it a little bit. I haven't fed the cats their dinner yet. That's what they're all waiting for. Let's see if I could do it again without her running away. Oh, she's, she's brushing her teeth. Oh, okay, she got scared. Here you go. Come back, Ziggy, come back. Come back, Ziggy. Richard, 
Nancy. Little Eva. Oh, look at this, little Eva. Look at this. She's letting me brush her. Sorry, Eva. I got a few brushes in. Here's Ziggy. Look what I just found. So this was one of those little tennis ball toys. Look at this. It's one of the little tennis balls. And look what happened. Look, they killed it. Look at this. This is what's inside of it. It's like a rubber ball. They totally broke it. Oh, and it has like one of those, um, I think those things are supposed to make noise. This is totally going in the garbage. That's not safe right now. Like one of those squeaky things. Who did that, Sammy? Who killed that ball? Who killed the little tennis ball? I blame Richard. It's 4.45 p.m. and here's Stella. She's laying on the bed. I want to see if I could show you Splash. Hello, Stella. You're looking very pretty today. Here's Splash. Hey, Splash. He's been laying in this cat bed. Let me tell you what happened to this cat bed. So this cat bed was along the wall next to the cat tower and maybe two feet above the feel away dispenser that is plugged into the outlet. And it was on top of a storage unit. And yesterday I picked up this cat bed and underneath it, there was like an oil puddle. And I was like, that's really weird. What is that from? At first I thought it was water because it was under the window. And I was like, well, maybe when it rained, some water came in. But then I realized that it was oil. And then I realized that it was somehow the condensation from the fell away dispenser. Uh, because it was so close to it, it was, you know, a foot or two above it, that when the fell away dispenser heats up the liquid in it, then the, the vapors rise, and I guess they were being somehow caught or condensed underneath this bed. So then I smelled the bottom of the bed, and sure enough, it smelled like the feel away liquid. Now, some people will say that it has no smell, but it does have a very, very, very faint smell, especially if you put your nose right by the dispenser. So I remember thinking, well, if any of the cats end up laying in this bed, they're going to end up being really, really comfortable because of the fell away liquid on the bottom of it. And it wasn't like it was making the material wet or anything. Um, it had just been absorbed by the material, but it wasn't a very, very large amount of it. I would say, I don't know, maybe like a teaspoon of it or not even. And look what's going on here today. Splash is so comfortable in this bed. Splashy looks so comfortable. And let's see what happens if I move around. Okay, now he's not that comfortable. How you doing, Splashy? But look, he doesn't want to get out of it. He doesn't want to get up. I think he's very comfortable. You're very comfortable, Splash, with all these pretty quilts and the pretty bed. Here's Simba. Simba says he's very comfortable also. 
Look at his feet. Hello, Splashy. You're so cute. Splashy, do you know how cute you are? Do you know what a handsome man you are, Splashy? Do you? You're a very handsome cat. Right, Splash? You're a handsome cat. The green of the cat bed matches Splash's eyes. 